Okay, so back with the second part of making a turtle because my phone ran out of memory yesterday. Um, right, so I basically uh, wrapped my work up in cling film. So if you keep it wrapped up in plastic, it won't dry out. Um, and you can keep checking it, making sure it's still wet, give it a little light spray if it's, um, if it's starting to dry and you can't work on it just yet. But yeah, it kind of keeps everything, as you can see, really soggy still. So that's all good. So I've still got a smoothed inside of my pot there. And I'm going to make probably a head, which I reckon that much clay will be good for. And then we'll do four feet. So whatever I've got left, I'm going to split it in half. And then I'm going to split that one in half. And then that one in half. So I've got four even-ish size bits of clay. And then I'm just going to roll small sausages and use them as the feet. And obviously you can pattern your feet, make it all wrinkly like a turtle's feet, um, whatever you fancy. But mine are going to be pretty straightforward. So what I'm doing is I'm rolling a sausage but I'm keeping my hand down at this side and up at this side so it's rolling a, a cone sort of a shape so it's like that so the wide bit is going to be the bottom of his feet and then this bit here is going to get attached to the side so I'm going to make four of those And then pat the, the bottom down on the table just to flatten it out a little bit. Don't worry too much if they're all different shapes and sizes because I can just nip a bit off the top there match it in with the size of the other ones so I'm laying them up there so this one's loads taller so I'm just gonna nip a bit off a little bit of that one and a bit of that one and then they're all roughly the same sort of size now. Um, I'm just going to round the tops off. And it doesn't have to be perfect this bit because we're going to stick it onto the side of the pot and blend it in. So don't worry too much about this. So I've got four feet there. Um, what you can do is find some tools which would be good for putting lines on as if it's got wrinkly feet and then maybe something to put um, toenails on. So wrinkles you can put on with anything that's got like a sharp edge like that. So this kidney is really good for that one. Hold it in your hand and just roll that round so you can see it kind of puts little lines on and it makes it look a little bit wrinkly actually like my fingers so you can do that with them all and you can give it toenails maybe that side actually we'll take the lid off and I'm going to use that And then he's got some toenails there. That looks quite cool. So I'm going to do that with the rest of them. The production line going on. I'm 
up on some wrinkles. So I've got four feet there. Um, I bring my ball back. So you're kind of going to spread them out. I think I might put his head here. Um, so then we're going to have a foot about there and there and there and there. So you're going to put four feet on. Um, lie it on the side there. Because this clay is really soft, I can still just blend this in. So I can support the ball on the outside so I've got something to push against and then just push it on like that and it should stay on fine but if your clay is a little bit um, drier then you'll need to cross hatch and slurry it, cross hatch and slip so I've done that in the previous videos if you just search online you'll be able to find them so push it on, blend it in so you can't really see the join anymore. And then we'll do one around about here. Same thing, hold it just below the level there. And blend it in. Apologies for the darkness of this video as well. I can't quite get the light right. Because it is kitchen table pottery. So I've got to go with whatever the outside gives us. And at the moment it's a bit of a dull day. So it's got two feet on. Spin it round. And then put the other two feet on the other side. And again, you can spend tons of time fiddling on with it and blending it in really nicely so there's no rough bits. I'm just quite quickly doing it there, so he's got four feet now. So I think I'm going to put his head, I think I settle on this side, so we'll pop him in there. So we'll make his head just by rolling a ball and then I'm going to roll it thinner down one side, spin it round and thinner down the other side so it's kind of like an oval shape. So you can see all these, um, all these little bits on here. I'm picking them up because the table's not clean and also because my hands have got loads of bits of dry clay all over them. So try and keep your hands clean all the time. Um, just because it keeps your work a lot neater and tidier. So I'm going for a sort of a, an egg shape I think. Smooth it over. So I think this bigger end is going to be his head and then this end is going to be his neck. So I may pinch that out a little bit more. It's a little bit more like a turtle's head. So I'm reckoning his mouth's going to go about here and I think through his mouth Mm, let's try this. No, it's not quite right, is it? So you can fiddle around with loads of different things that you've got knocking about in the house. 
we've just finished a roll of new poop bags for the dogs and I've just spied it um, that will probably be a good mouth a surprised mouth yep it's a surprise mouth all right then you want some little eyes so I may actually just roll a couple of balls for his eyes so small balls So lightly push them on and then I'm going to get probably the end of a paintbrush yep. and pop that in the middle I think we'll make them cross-eyed because I think that's how everybody feels after being stuck in the house for a week. Cool, um, I'm going to give them some wrinkles as well. And you can experiment with all your things that you've got lying around the house as well. Um, so it'd be good to see what you've got um, and what kind of patterns they make. So if you do follow these tutorials along, um, tag her in or share the images with me. You can email with them if you haven't um, got social media. You can always send us an email and I'll share them on there. So about here. So remember to put his head on upside down so he's looking at it with. Sorry, I cut my video off by accident there. Um, right, so we've got his face and his feet on. So what I can do is sort of tip it into that hand and then really gently take it out. So take your ball off and then take all the cling film off. And then he's still a little bit soggy, but it's good because I can actually bend his head up And make them look up a little bit um, so you can see that's kind of him from the side it's quite cute um, but basically if you want to you can kind of smooth all these out where the creases of the cling film has been so you can spend 10 minutes or so doing that and um, you can also add some other bits on if you want to you can put a tail in I forgot to do that that might be quite cute having a little tail sticking out of his back end there um, but it doesn't have to be a turtle as well you can make it in all sorts of different creatures it's just a rough idea about what you can do um, so yeah so that's our um, turtle project in the kids pack but obviously it's good for adults as well just to have a little bit of fun with um, but yeah thank you very much <laughs>